everyone who decides to give year 11 and 12 a serious go will experience stress from time to time. It can be a bit of an emotional roller coaster. One moment you feel hopeful and the next you might feel sad. You could have high expectations and then sometimes students want to give up. There's no way to totally remove stress if you want to take on a challenge. But there are several things that you can do to help students to tolerate stress so that it doesn't get in the way of what they want to achieve. The key is to have a better relationship with stress so that it has less of a negative impact on your life. And there are several skills that you can learn to help you do this. To become more resilient, you need to have experiences where you feel stretched. Afterwards, you're likely to feel like you achieved something. And psychological studies show that when we overcome a challenge, we have a feeling of more confidence, personal growth, and possibly even more happiness. Where students become stuck is where they feel like study is something that they're forced to do. Students who do well at university or at school have a sense that their study is something that they value, that it's an important tool to help them get where they need to go. Whether it's something specific like nursing or teaching or engineering or something more general like a desire to contribute to the environment or the community or to help people, it really doesn't matter. As long as you're passionate about something, it'll help you to push through the study. Since a young boy, I always wanted to go to uni um, and study architecture, I always like to draw. It was probably working two years in a hardware store, just you know, working so hard for so little. Um, that kind of was the turning point for me. I realised that uh, education and, and hard work is the only way to get somewhere. Even back in Year 7 when we used to go to all these little career expos and we got the glossy uni magazines and all of that, um, it was always I wanted to go, I was always going to uni. It was kind of like always wanting to go to uni mixed with something I had to do so why not get a lot out of it. Sometimes students are just keenly aware that if they apply themselves now, they'll have more choices later. They're motivated just to have a chance at what other people have missed out on. I just thought I'd push the boundaries of the family and show them that it's possible um, to study and to get a real job, make real money and build a future. Obviously it was just to make parents proud and just to, to see me accomplish something that they never did. The added bonuses I suppose from um, working hard and getting an education is that you can help people that you love, like your family. Um, my parents are both not well, so me working hard, making money helps them in the long run, helps my little brother. In addition to having a strong emotional connection with your goal or meaning and purpose, it's important to have a plan B. So that's a sense of this is what I hope for, but if I don't get there, this is what I'm prepared to try instead. In addition to that, it helps if you have strong self-belief, otherwise known as agency. So that's a sense that I can do this. In the end, it will be worthwhile, or a sense that I can cope with this. So the important things are to value your goal, believe in yourself, and also be prepared to find another way to get there. Stress sets off a physiological response that helps you to fight or run from a situation. This happens even if the danger is not real. It's just a fear or a worry that you have in your mind. But you might have noticed that stress can also have some benefits. It can help you to stay more motivated, to be more alert and focused. It can also help to increase your energy. Some stress is actually good because it motivates you to actually study and then the stress will go away because you actually know all the subject content. Too much stress and it will start to have the reverse effect. This anxiety bell curve shows that up to a certain point, stress increases arousal or mental stimulation. But once adrenaline gets too high, it has a negative impact on your ability to focus. For most people, stress has some effect on their body. While these symptoms can be uncomfortable, so long as they're temporary, they're usually not harmful. My physical symptoms of stress was pr um, primarily lack of sleep. I'd really struggle getting to sleep because I'd be so exhausted and be like, I want to go and sleep now. But then my mind was just racing like crazy. I'll just be laying there and I'll be like, oh, I, I've forgotten this. And you're just thinking of all the things you've got to do and all the things you don't know. My heart would start going faster and I'd actually get um, a headache. The main one would be just the stomach cramps. Headaches. Lack of motivation. Feeling overwhelmed. 
pimples, sort of outbreak of pimples and things like that. Exhaustion. Everything running in your head at once. Sweaty palms and everything would happen. I'd just get really heavy eyes, um, just not want to do anything, just want to lie down, go to bed. Um, yeah, but you can't do that. <laughs> Stress also influences mood. It can cause some people to feel angry, sad, irritable, or even overwhelmed. Become quite irritable um, by, you know, simple things that people would say. I would get, you know, on the brink of being angry as well. 